Hey everybody, it's Monday evening and welcome to February and welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. What a stretch of weather we had from about lunchtime Sunday through today. A real taste of April out there. It was just remarkably nice outside this afternoon. I really wanted to dig out the golf clubs. But uh, when we look back at recent temperature history, yes, it's been a generally mild pattern since... Well, a long time ago, but we're just looking at recent history. Uh, we had a few cooler than average days by a couple of degrees in late January, but generally speaking, mild air has been the rule. Nothing real remarkable, though, until the last couple of days. 17 above the average yesterday and a whopping 26 degrees warmer than the average high temperature for today's date this afternoon. Keep in mind, we still should only be around 33, 34 degrees in early February for daytime highs. We did not set a record today. We did not tie the record. We came close though, 60 today, but 62 is the record set four years ago on this date in 2016. 62 in Akron today was a new record in New Philly today at 64. Pittsburgh hit 62 and Wheeling 64 degrees. All of these temperatures more like the second half of April rather than the first half of February. In case you missed it, did the February forecast late last week, and uh, this is from the Climate Prediction Center, part of the National Weather Service. I didn't have any real quarrels with their forecast, so I'll show you their product here. And uh, yeah, I think it's the right idea that, once again, odds are going to favor above average temperatures during the month of February east of the Mississippi. Now, of course, that doesn't mean every day is going to be warm. We're going to have some cold days. We're going to have some snow. We're going to have some wintry weather in February, but it'll come out in the wash as yet another warmer than average month. We'll talk about the longer range towards the end of this video. Uh, as far as precipitation goes in February, the only thing I would change on this graphic, I might extend the odds of wetter than uh, wetter than average month a little bit farther to the north. I kind of think that we'll have an active storm track during February, bringing us frequent bouts of precipitation. Occasionally it's just going to be of the liquid variety, and sometimes we'll have some wintry precipitation if uh, temperatures line up just right. And we'll talk about the chances for wintry precipitation this week here momentarily. But the first thing we're going to see is liquid precipitation. It's rain drizzle as we go through the late night hours tonight and into the day on Tuesday. This is going to be nothing all that heavy, but a little bit damp at times. This is setting up along a boundary and quite a boundary. It's, you know, spring is really <laughs> spring, if you will, across the deep south uh, this evening. Temperatures got into the 70s in a lot of the Carolinas earlier today. But out here is where the colder air mass is. And along the leading edge of that colder air mass, that's where the precipitation is breaking out. Timing on this, it's coming after midnight. And again, it's not going to be a whole lot. Light rain and drizzle as we head off to work and school Tuesday morning. But uh, we'll be warm enough for all of this to just stay rain during the daylight hours tomorrow, even though temperatures will fall. We'll reach a morning high around 50, but as a lot of people get off the bus tomorrow afternoon or head home from work late in the afternoon, it'll be down in the 30s. So it's going to be quite a change in the wake of this front. Now, towards the evening tomorrow, I don't think it's anything all that impactful, but I'm not going to be surprised if we have some sleet pellets trying to mix in with the raindrops and then perhaps even some snowflakes before the evening is through. But the ground temperatures are going to be pretty warm. The air temperatures are going to be marginal. I'm expecting roads to just be wet uh, with our uh, little wintry mix and eventually a little wet snow Tuesday evening. Uneventful day coming up on Wednesday, but then, uh, you know, this is kind of an interesting period here Wednesday night. I think we are going to see some freezing rain Wednesday night, but if you're hoping for school adjustments and that sort of thing Thursday morning, I wouldn't count on it because of the timing of the warmer air coming in. We'll be cold enough for freezing rain for a handful of hours late in the evening Wednesday. But I think already by 2, 3 in the morning, we're getting above freezing. And by daybreak on Thursday, it could be north of 40 degrees in a lot of the area. So, yes, technically we are going to have some freezing rain. But And if you happen to be out in about 10 p.m. to midnight or so, Wednesday night, might have to watch for some slick spots. But it's not going to be freezing rain with temperatures around 26. It's going to be 30, 31. So, got to be careful. But I wouldn't expect real high impacts from this. And I'm not expecting a lot of impacts for Thursday morning commuters. Again, we'll get well above freezing. In fact, I got 50s in the forecast now for Thursday afternoon. Here's a look at our uh, model ice accretion. All of our models advertising under a tenth of an inch of ice accretion. Really, we don't have legitimate problems usually with ice accumulating on tree branches and power lines and that sort of thing until you're up to around two tenths or even a quarter of an inch of ice. So I'm expecting this to be pretty low impact. All right, let's uh, delve into the longer range here. Uh, I want to flip over to... Uh, tonight's run of the uh, European model taking us out through the next 360 hours. We're looking at temperatures compared to average here. And yes, here's that warm air mass being replaced by a more seasonable air mass at the end of the week and into the upcoming weekend. 
Uh, it's going to be a pretty typical midwinter stretch, I think, Friday, Saturday into Sunday. As we go into next week, uh, a warm-up coming, it looks like, in the run-up to Valentine's Day. Look at uh, these warm anomalies. So I would expect some 40s, if not maybe some 50s again for daytime highs towards the end of next week and into Valentine's Day weekend. And then beyond that, and we've been talking about this on this video uh, for, for a while now, that the, the cold air dumps into the west and then it meets resistance as it tries to come east. So we're going to be in that battle zone a little bit. Uh, you know, spring is going to continue to just blossom across the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida. Things will continue to bloom down there. We're not going to see that around here necessarily, but, you know, the cold's going to remain centered out here, bleeds into the Midwest and out into parts of Canada, but around here it just has a hard time kind of, you know, getting a, getting a hold of the pattern and, and really sticking. So, you know, it just doesn't look that cold in the longer range. And, you know, I don't, like I've been saying, winter's not over. We're going to see some wintry weather from time to time. But we're just not, it just does not seem like we're going to see any sort of sustained below average temperatures through at least the first couple of weeks of February. And then pretty soon we're going to be talking about the end of meteorological winter at the end of February. And as you know, around here it can get cold in March and even into April. So, you know, nobody should be thinking that winter is over by any stretch. But, you know, in the foreseeable future, in the next couple of weeks in February, I just, I don't think that we're going to see any sort of prolonged period of cold. Occasionally little bouts, little visits from cold, but uh, it's not going to stick around for long. I'll see you back here on Tuesday for the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, weather for weather geeks.